Are we ready as a society to discuss what the next steps are if we find life beyond Earth? Hi, I'm Jim Green, Chief Scientist at NASA, and this is Gravity Assist. On this season of Gravity Assist, we're looking for life beyond Earth. I'm here with Dr. Stephen Dick, and he's an astronomer, an author, and a historian of science, most noted for his work in the field of astrobiology. Stephen also has served as chief historian for NASA, and he's been the Bloomberg Chair at the Library of Congress in Astrobiology. So let's say if we find life beyond Earth, what do you think will be the reaction by the public and, and what will happen next? Uh, I, I usually put it in terms of the worldviews. I think our cosmological worldview would change, our philosophical and theological worldviews would change, and our cultural worldviews would change. From, by cosmological, I mean that we will, we will know that we no longer live in a physical universe, entirely physical universe, where we are the only kind of freak biology, the freak intelligence, that we live in what I call a biological universe. Uh, and that, uh, you know, that, that makes a big difference for, for our future, our sort of human destiny, if you have a biological universe where we have to interact with intelligence. So there's the cosmological aspect, uh, then there's the philosophical and theological aspect. If we engage with extraterrestrials, we will find out something about our own knowledge. Do they know the same things that we know? Do they see the universe the same way that we do? This is a big philosophical problem. Do we have objective knowledge? Uh, so that's a huge question in philosophy. One of the points I like to make is it very much depends on what the discovery scenario is. You know, it's almost it's almost meaningless to say, what's the impact of discovering life? Are you talking about microbial life yeah. or intelligent life or intelligent life with a signal or with a signal that's deciphered? And what do they say? Those are all different scenarios that you have to consider uh, when you talk about what's the reaction going to be.